Okay, the, the next one is affine cipher and we are going to use this notation which is actually a combination of additive and multiplicative ciphers using two keys and say SNR at this moment. So let's say P and C is at the plain text and cipher text respectively and our SNR is just any integer between 0 and 25. Then to get ciphertext, all we need is multiplying S, the key, at the plain text, and adding R. That's the key for the additive part. And to get back this plain text, just calculate this one. So subtract R from both sides first, and multiply S inverse on both sides. Then the right-hand side becomes just a P and the left hand side becomes S inverse times C minus R for modulo 26. Okay, so to get a cipher, a scissor cipher, or any uh, shift cipher or additive cipher, uh, actually S should be 1 and we just put any number there. So for, for example, for scissor cipher, S must be 1 and R must be 3. And to get a multiplicative cipher from affine, all we need is just 0 for r. Then it becomes multiplicative cipher. So affine cipher is generalization of these two previous ciphers. So it's, it makes more secure uh, uh, ciphertext compared to additive or multiplicative. OK, so this is how it works. and. Just explain how we get the uh, one. So once again, for the we need the inverse of S modulo 26. So we still have the exactly same uh, condition to get the key for the multiplicative part. Okay, and these are the kind of list for the all possible uh, numbers which has its own inverse modulo 26, and. I believe you're already familiar with this stuff, but uh, because our modular m is 26, which is product of 2 and 13. So if you choose any integer, it's multiple of 2 or 13, it doesn't have its own inverse. So all odd numbers except 13, because 13 is odd, but is also a divisor of 26, so 13 cannot have its own inverse for modulo 26.